Okay, we're installing some six drive aerators here. Now where we're at is we've got the top hole drilled here. Uh, we're actually one and a half inches away from the drive here, which the top tube actually was kind of almost touching. It's kind of a bigger bracket that sticks off the back of these six drives here on this particular boat, so I couldn't and I didn't want to make I wanted to make sure that these uh the nuts at the bottom of these screw these four screws clear at the bottom and they barely did. You can see from the bottom here, I show you up here uh, where those holes were in relationship to these studs. So there's a little bit of room uh, there. This is the first pilot hole that we drilled to knock the anode out. Uh, that's going to be covered by the gasket. Uh, it would have been nice to get it right here in the center. But you can see this drive is hollow. Uh, I'll show you up inside best I can. You can see some shavings of some aluminum in there. And um, so we've got this thing cut perfect. Right on the blade. It's exactly a quarter inch. Okay, so we're going to show you this drive for kind of from the beginning. So we got some blue tape here on the drive, as you can see. We're going to put this exactly at a one and a half. Can you um, more at the center? Make sure this gets right in the center. Right there. And one, one, and, one a and a half inches. Right there. You can see it. So you can see there. Okay. <clears throat> And then we're going to get the top piece on here and get that here centered and then we're going to put this, get this centered in between uh, the top of the drive and then draw the four holes. Okay, so we have our pattern drawn out and we're just in double checking, measuring from the center of the hole to the back. Okay, so now we're going to draw a circle where the three inch hole goes in the center. So how we're going to do that is we're going to place the top bracket back on in position and then we're gonna draw the hole through the tube so here we go okay so now we've got our hole here perfect so now our second hole so the first hole was just the pilot hole now we drew a little bigger one so it could fit a good sized screwdriver in there knock the anode free okay so now I'm gonna take these nuts off the bottom of the uh, anode here. Okay, so now we're not going to knock the anode out. Is it going? Nope. Yeah, yeah. Go, go on the front. Yeah, it's almost out. Okay, just, okay stop, stop. It was going okay. sideways. There we go. Okay, so we got the anode out. Okay, so now we're drilling four pilot, pilot holes here. First, and then we're going to open up the, the holes to the top bracket with this drill uh, a bit. This is the correct size that you see here. You know what I mean? So we're going to check the bottom piece that we made for the other uh, drive on this one. They should be exactly the same as you can see here. I have some tape here on the edges of the propeller. Okay, so here we are, the starboard engine. Uh, we've got the tube that we cut for the port side uh, mocked up here to see if it's exactly the same. And I'm running the blade by it, and you can see it's perfectly exactly the same. We've got a quarter of an inch right there. See that? The blade clears it. Just perfect. Okay, we're drilling the pilot hole first here before we cut the hole. The hole saw. Cut the three inch hole saw right here. And that's next. Okay, so now we're going to drill the three inch hole. Alright, the hole is 
is drilled. There we go. So they've got all four bolt holes and the center hole cut. You can see a hollow down in there. Our aluminum. See up inside of here too. It's all hollow. We've got the uh, bolt holes. Plenty of uh, clearance there to put the nuts on the bottom. We're good to go. So we'll get the top on first, then get the Okay, so we're getting the top piece mounted here. As you can see, it takes four of these Allen head screws. Just a couple nuts, I got a couple of mount already. Some lock nuts and some washers. So we'll get that on here. All right, we've got one of them completely installed. Okay, so we've got the tube up here. You can see it just barely touching um, at the top here. Now I could twist this a little bit um, to where it doesn't touch. And it has a little bit of a bend in it. I think I'm gonna leave it just like this because it gives it a little bit of support. It's not flapping around, I kinda like that. It's not, it's not really that touching that hard. And um, I got the two hose clamps on. I got the upper unit all uh, mounted down. There's a little trick getting the, the back nuts on, uh, the nuts on these back screws here. Um, but we got it on, there was a washer as well. And you see the lower unit, you can see right here the prop is passing by perfectly. It's exactly a quarter inch all the way across. You can see that just slicing through right there. Put another blade through. So we're working on the port side now and you've got to really get your hand up in there to hold on to that nut at the bottom. We've got a couple of them on but you can see. Okay, we've got the last. Right there last nut getting on here and this is the tool that was really handy because you got to take this on and off several many many times to get it just right and uh, this allows you to quickly tighten the bolt the nut just like that actually and uh, get this side tight I have to loosen that That's how it's done. Look at that. Perfect. Yeah. Could have done it without Tony here. The maestro. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we made it happen here. Uh, we definitely need two people. You need the right tools. Uh, this was one of them. This is invaluable having an electric uh, wrench like this uh, because you have to tighten these things and take them on and off many times. So that was key. Uh, having a little corrosion X, uh, this stuff always helps. Um, it takes away a little oxidation on that perch underneath here where the anode was attached. There's a little bit of oxidation we had to scrub off and uh, clean up the threads. Uh, both these top pieces, the seal uh, was nice and flat on each of them. And so uh, no carnage, we lost only one thing into the water. This whole uh, trip was this, uh, this wet exhaust hose. And luckily, uh, good thing we have West Marine. Thank you very much, West Marine. I was able to go over and uh, source a 17 and a half inch piece of this to match the other side. This one's a little bit nice and newer, but um, they're both gonna get a little dirty and, and weathered over time. So here we go. Successful six drive aerator install. These uh, 18 inch wheels, 1200 horsepower, props here, 18 degree rake, 32 degree pitch. Um, pretty good props here. You can see the 1200 horsepower, 18.0 by 32 pitch, 18 degree rake. Mercury racing, five, five blade cleavers with the uh, the prop locks, McGard prop locks there too. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned a little something. I wanted to make a video like this because I couldn't find another video uh, installing these aerators. And one of the key things was finding the right angle here. And um, the way we were able to find that was that you slide the prop out to the end of the threads and you mock up a piece of tape at the right angle. You tighten this uh, lower vent tube up, move the prop out so that you can spin the prop and it doesn't hit. 
and then you get a piece of tape and you tape it and the nice thing about tape is it has a, a straight edge to it and uh, so we taped up a mocked up a piece of tape to simulate the edge of this tube so it was in the perfect angle and the blade was passing right by it and then we just measured back and we're able to find the right uh, the right cut and the other th important thing um, that we were able to figure out was that both of these vent tubes were exactly the same so once we got one right uh, I did mock it up and test it over there um, but it was exactly the same size on both sides so that's the way I kind of expected it because the drives and the props are precision and the boat would be handling a little bit funny if it wasn't like that but um, it definitely uh, we tested it and it, uh, that's how it how it turned out so once again another successful uh, six drive prop aerator project here and um, I'll be at you with some more uh, upgrades and, and things that I'm doing to the boat here to tune it in. Alright, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.